title and the man at the minute who's got that is Kevin Mitchell. So um, that's and you know I'd like to fight him anyway. You know and and the, the one thing that makes it even better is that he holds that British title as well, the one that I want and the one that I uh, I'm sure I can win. Who's who's been your toughest opponent to date? Would you say? My toughest opponent, um, probably early on. You know, I, I was always matched uh, quite tough for, when I first turned pro boxed um, in my debut. Uh, I like called just Wally, who just come back off the uh, Commonwealth Games. He was a really tough lad and and caused a few upsets as, as a pro. So for my first one, you know, that was a really really tough and uh, a tough fight and, and got me right in, in frame for professional boxing. Really, I think the toughest one was probably Hyder Ali, who uh, was unbeaten at the time. Um, and uh, and I think they he was tipped to go go places, but I knew you know I knew he was uh, I knew he was good because uh, he just won the Commonwealth Games you know the one that I went to and got the outstanding boxer of the tournament and so I knew you know he was uh, he was a fantastic fighter and uh, but you know on my point of view I knew I could beat him and I think uh, afterwards I was I was throwing up in the uh, in the change rooms because I put that much into it um, but uh, that that was probably my toughest one but one that I won and uh, I was really happy about okay. as well as being a successful boxer you've also appeared in a number of TV shows I saw you the other night on a mm-hmm. rerun of Holly Oaks in the City I believe how did that come about? That's right. I mean, well I started uh, acting about 10 years ago uh, and I was lucky enough to, to get a part in the film which was the you know the lead part um, and funny enough that was when the boxing first uh, kicked off when I when I started boxing for England, so I had to make the decision whether or not to uh, to, to pursue my boxing career or um, make it as an actor. And I think at the time when we were doing the film, it was a good uh, a, a good time to uh, to get an agent and to to push myself because you know I'd done a big film. So, um, but my, my main ambas- ambition was to was to do well as a boxer because you know boxers don't have that long shelf life. So uh, I did everything I needed to do, which which I, I don't regret, you know, it's the best thing, that, probably the best move I did. And without boxing, I probably wouldn't, probably wouldn't have got into the acting game and I wouldn't have been as, as confident and, and as, uh, I'm saying as good, uh, in front of the camera as I would have done without boxing. So they work well together. Uh, when I'm not fighting, I'm doing a bit of acting and when I'm not acting, I'm doing a bit of fighting. Okay, any, any big roles coming up or...? No, I'm hoping to. Uh, I'm, I'm pushing it uh, and just just learning the trade really, and just trying to get as much experience as I can. Um, and again, I know uh, you know I'm good enough to to appear on on whatever. It's just getting that little bit of luck and and meeting the right people, like in any any like any form of uh, you know career. So uh, yeah, I'm just just pushing it and hoping to get probably a big party in Corrie, something like that. That'll do me uh, down to the ground, and then move on to the uh, move on to the films. That was Kevin Taylor there speaking to uh, actor and boxer Manchester Stephen Bell. Moving straight on then, here's our very own Kevin Taylor again speaking to the legendary fighter and now upcoming trainer, also from Manchester, Arnie Varnell. How's um, how's the gym going? You know what? It's going like it's going superb. So it's going really, really good. I've got some like. I've got some uh, like good uh, top top amateurs that uh, you know turning pro with me. What well, we can't like obviously mention the names yet, but they are like top top class. Uh, but and like like I say, Crowe, Melu, Callum, and Bella, they're all they're all doing great. Like I say, fighting tomorrow night, so it's, uh, it's all going good. Yeah, Steve Bell makes his return to tomorrow night after his loss in the English title. Um, yeah. how's, how's he been looking in training? You know what, he's, he really is looking, he, he, he's looking really good, and I think, you know, like, I know he's like 30 odd years old and stuff, but, you know, he's not had, you know, he's not had hard fights and stuff, and that last one, he made it hard himself, you no, know, after the first round, you no, know, when he hit him, put him down, put Femi down, I think he just thought he could go there and, you know, slug it out with him, stand in there, but that's not his game, his game is box, he box off, bam bam, box move, box move, but obviously, like, he's up to a, you know, a different game plan, but 
I say we've worked on that man. He's just sticking to boxing now, and he's uh, he's looking wicked. He's been sparring great, and he's looking wicked. And he's still determined to win a British title after I spoke to him yesterday. Do you think that? Oh yeah. That it's possible. Definitely, I really, really, do. really do. Is a. So if you, if, if you ever come down to, you're welcome anytime, if you ever come down to gym and see him train, like, you'd know then, like, it's, it's annoying really because, and you're like, I know how good he is. <laughs> and like, he's just got, he's just got to like, put everything together, what he does, you know, in the uh, gym, in the ring, and when he does that, he's like, there's no stopping him because he's fired with some great kids and he does brilliant. He does really well, really well. And he's also appearing on the, on the TV recently, is he, a, <laughs> no, a, is he a better boxer than he is an actor? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> I, I'm a better actor than him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, he's a, he's a top one. He can do everything, can I, really? He can act, he can, he can box, he can talk well, so he can do, he can do a lot of things. And like, like you say, he's 30, he's 31, and people think, oh, 31 years old boxing, but if you was if you like not to work with Stephen Bell like in the gym and stuff, you'd think he was the youngest. No of them all. He's like he still acts like you know, like he still got like he's still young, you know what I mean, body young sort of thing, acts younger and stuff. So he's uh he's, he's still got plenty to offer. Okay. And you, you mentioned him earlier, you've got um million dollar cola in your uh yeah. gym. Yeah. For those who haven't seen him, tell us a bit about him. If you haven't seen him, right yeah. if you if you only seeing him as an amateur, you think, oh yeah, great amateur and stuff, brilliant amateur, uh, you know, nice, uh, nice move, box move, but not a lot of power. He don't set his feet. And if you see him now, you think he's a different person. He's like, he's, he can, he can, crawl, he can go all the way. He's, he's in, like, obviously it's in my hands as well, but it's in his hands, you know, I, and you know, I can uh, gym. And if he really wants it, I know he, he wants it like more than anyone, but if he sticks at this game, he can get out of this game, everything. He's, he's that good. He's that good. Uh, he spars around their car, you know, uh, and it's like, uh, you know, they have 50 50 spars. And, uh, you know, he's it, it, a top, top class fighter, right? top class. He's like, he would, he's like, he could hold himself up on the, the top fighter in Britain now, he could handle himself in and now. You know what I mean? After seven fights, but obviously we don't want to push him, you know, too fast. Because once you once you're up there, you, you can't go back down, can you? You've got to you've got to learn your trade first, and you? And he's like, and that's only after you know a year of being pro. So imagine when he's going to be like in three years. Yeah, exactly. You obviously did well in your own boxing career. What attributes do you think you bring to the table as a trainer now? As a, as a trainer, like you say, I had a, I had three. You know, I have three decent trainers myself. Um, and I, I wasn't. What it was with me is, I I had a brilliant, you know, um, a boxing brain when I was boxing. Like, because I'm like, I'm addicted to boxing. If you know what I mean. People get addicted to drugs. <laughs> That's my drug. So you know, boxing, um, and a lot of styles and so. You know, a lot of trainers um, like think their like or you know, their way is the best way. But I'm always looking at like. So on at different trains, looking at on, at the web and stuff, and seeing seeing what I can pick up. You can't stop learning, can you? In this game, you can't stop learning. So I I, I always try to like pick up new things and stuff. And you know, there's a uh, and, and I've got I've got it there. I know what it's like to be in that tenth round, and you know, and it, it, your arms are aching, your body's aching, you feel sorry for yourself, but you've got to, you've got to lift yourself. I know what it feels like. I'm not a lot of training. You no, know, it feels like being in later rounds. And no, it, and I was like, by no means was I a skillful boxer. I I won by soul determination. And if I can put that through, the boxers I've got are so talented, it's unbelievable. So if I can put that through to them, the discipline I had, you know, discipline and determination, like the world to win and learn. I was like learning all the time. If I can put that through to them, you know, I can only I can, I can only succeed really. Yeah. yeah. You obviously retired early um, due to irregularities on your MRI scan, wasn't it? Yeah. How, yeah. How much um, how much of a regret was that having to retire? 